For millennia, people have wondered at, debated over, and composed works of art about the nature of God. After Jesus Christ's ministry and his teachings about his role as Savior, the concept of a Godhead or Holy Trinity began to take hold among Christians. But opinions of what this Godhead is and how its three figures function and exist together still fuel debate. The prophet Joseph Smith taught, It is the first principle of the gospel to know for a certainty the character of God. He also testified that through the Book of Mormon, its readers would get nearer to God by abiding by its precepts than by any other book. This is partly because the Book of Mormon adds insights into the nature and purpose of the Godhead that cannot be found anywhere else. The Book of Mormon, like the Bible, testifies of God the Father, His Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. The Book of Mormon teaches us that God the Father is the literal, physical Father of Jesus Christ, as well as the spiritual Father of all humankind. The Book of Mormon also teaches that Heavenly Father is not only all-knowing and all-powerful, but also that all things can be known and accomplished by His servants through Him. Jesus Christ's character and purpose as Savior and Redeemer, being central to all of the Book of Mormon's teachings, are fleshed out significantly throughout the Book of Mormon. Uniquely, it clarifies the nature of Christ's pre-mortal identity. When Christ showed himself to the brother of Jared, he explained, This body, which ye now behold, is the body of my spirit, and man have I created after the body of my spirit. And even as I appear unto thee to be in the spirit, will I appear unto my people in the flesh. This, along with the Holy Ghost appearing to Nephi as a man, though a spirit, during his vision of the tree of life, teaches the principle that God's children are created in His image, both spiritually and physically. All of these insights to each member of the Godhead teach us valuable principles about who we are as children of God, our relationship to God, and what we are capable of with His help.